Hi, this is Zach, and I'll be doing an unboxing video of a new XUAV Talon Mini that I've just received in the mail. As you can see in this photo, I've pulled everything out of the box and dry fitted a few of the components just to see how it would all look. What I like about it immediately is how well everything does seem to fit together. Everything nice and tight and no gaps, including the hatch that actually slides right in over the top and covers a huge length of the actual fuselage. As you can see from the photo of the wing, there are two carbon rods already embedded in the front and towards the rear of the wing. These will line up with carbon rods that slide through the top of the fuselage, as you can see here. You'll also find carbon rods already embedded in the VTAL fins, and also along most of the fuselage length. Here's a look at how large the fuselage is with a 5000 milliamp 3 cell battery sitting inside it. And now with the 5000 pushed into the nose, it's nearly out of sight. Here's a look at the front end, ready for the included wooden camera tray or your camera mount of choice. And they've included a bump underneath where you could also mount a down angled camera if you wished. Here's the tail end where the motor will go and you can notice a very prominent fin underneath which will also have a wooden piece glued in to cope with the abusive landings and to also keep the prop off the ground. This just shows how well the VTAL fins will join to the body. And this shows the underside, which looks like it's designed for a purpose-made undercarriage, but there's no sign of one in the manual or website as yet. This photo shows the little bit of dihedral in the wingtips. And talking about the wing, they've placed CG stickers on the main spire where you'd expect to see them, but the manual actually says CG is at 76 millimeters from the wing's leading edge which actually places CG nearly 2 centimeters behind the spire. Since most of my gliders have CG on the spire, I'm inclined towards believing the sticker rather than the manual. Now a quick look at the rest of the inclusions. The control rods, horns, front wheel, Y-splitter, Velcro, and two packets of wooden pieces. One being the nose camera tray, and the other one has the motor mount and parts for a wooden frame that goes inside the middle of the fuselage for extra strength. Here's a quick look at the fold-out one-sided manual. And finally, here are a couple of photos of the Talon Mini compared to my current FPV plane, a Bixler 1.1 which has a 1400mm wingspan. That's compared to the 1300mm of the Talon. As you can see, the Talon Mini is also a little bit shorter in length, but while the wingspan is shorter, it has a slightly deeper wing cord. That's all for now. Once I've put it together for some line-of-sight flight testing, I might put together another video to show you how I've gone and highlight any issues that I had. Cheers and thanks for watching.